Hello everybody, this is Kimberly from America. She spent a few days in Belarus and my traditional question is, uh, Kimberly, why Belarus? How did you discover the places here and how did you discover how to get to the place here? To be honest? <laughs> Ideally. <laughs> Honestly, I just looked at a map uh, traveling through Eastern Europe and it was along the route that I was traveling and I said, oh, let me try it out. I just googled the rules to make sure that I could come here visa-free. Yeah, it's flying in and flying out via Minsk. That would Correct. be 30 days visa-free. Yes. And yep. so you flew in. Yes, yes. Oh, I flew great. in from Lithuania. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so now that you're a solo lady traveler in Belarus, uh, do you feel safe? Yes. Many people, let's say Indian travelers, American travelers, uh, African Americans, they're concerned about like racist things. Any time you felt inconvenient in Belarus about anything like this? Last night I walked home uh, about 11.15. I walked through an empty park, much larger than this. There were a few people in there. I didn't feel afraid. And mm -hmm. then I walked through an underpass that was mm -hmm. completely empty and I didn't feel afraid. Um, from my home city in the United States, I would not have done that. I would have taken an Uber okay. um, or a taxi. Well, Minsk is generally a very safe European place and uh, yeah. there's no, there are no issues neither for the guests nor for the locals generally. Uh, as I remember down the trip through the castle, people were just very, very happy to see, especially the ladies like the hair, yeah. hairstyle and everything, <laughs> so uh, people are friendly generally, right? Uh, what are the top highlights you remember you've seen so far? You've been on the train journey to Brest, you are going to Grodno and in Minsk, around Minsk, we are traveling around. Which are the top, let's say, three things you'd recommend Americans to see? Um, the top three things? The castles, um, the fortress. Well, I really enjoy uh, Soviet history. I like, I just like knowing about it. So for me, um, earlier I took like a general, I took a couple of Soviet tours and just seeing like Soviet monuments and landmarks. That was really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing is actually not a place to see. It's actually the draniki, the food. The pancakes. Yes, because that was different for me. It's so filling. It is. Yeah, and it was... It was nice. Like I really enjoyed it much more than I thought I would. That was in Mira. Yes, it was really good. And then the third thing would be I don't know how to pronounce it. Nezvish. Nezvish. Yep. Nezvish. Um, only because honestly, just it was so serene. I, I think it's nice to take a tour there, but honestly, it felt more like a park. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be a nice place to just go with your book mm -hmm. or like a stack lunch and mm -hmm. just relax and that was why I, I really I really enjoyed it I I enjoyed the architecture I enjoyed the interior it was it was relaxing for me I enjoyed it uh, do you find it's easy to get around uh, Minsk asking people for navigations or piece of advice a any shopping issues you've had so uh, to be honest with you my situation is unique because Belarus kind of reminds me of when I was living in Japan where it's pretty homogenous so I stand out <laughs> so a lot of times uh, people even if they can't help they're very willing to help because they know they that are. I'm a tourist um, the limp the English has not been a problem for me only because I travel a lot so I'm pretty familiar with uh, tools and tricks to communicate with people when we don't share yeah. the language yeah. for Americans um, I think that maybe a slight issue which is why I would recommend Americans just prepare with the translator that's all you need is a Google translate translator and and you'll be fine perhaps uh, if you were to address a YouTube audience specifically English speakers what are the things you'd like to tell about Belarus specifically their tourist plans might be long term they might be coming here next month what would you tell people so I originally planned to stay here for three days I've been here six or seven days now. So I've stayed a lot longer. I've taken more tours than I originally planned. I've seen more of the city mm -hmm. than I originally planned. So I think, um, I think a minimum of three days, preferably seven. Like three to five. Yes, that would be, yes, minimally three, but preferably seven is best, I think. Um, I found this, the city pretty easy to, to get around. Um, the metro was, was really, really easy. Um, even though Minsk is spread very out. massive and spread out, yeah, I like to walk, so that was easy for me. I didn't have any issue with that. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I'm sorry, repeat what was Normally it? people have some, let's say, an average American would have some Eastern Europe stereotypes yes. about some search at the border or something like this. Yes. So Did anything ugly happen to you when crossing? That's another thing. I'm not average. I've been to like over that's 80 why countries. That's why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. So I've been to over 80 countries. I think for the average American, outside of the Google Translator, um, the second thing that I, that I would actually state is, no, I think, I think being an American actually means that you're privileged and you don't have those things happen to you. Other people who are not Americans have had those things happen. Um, but as an American, I wouldn't worry about it. I think it's totally fine. It's totally safe. I didn't have any difficulty and I really stand out, so. No uh, uh, ugly bu bureaucracy, no uh, Cold War treatment at the airport, no paperwork, delays, anything, no. anything smooth? Like... I was so prepared for the airport. I had mm -hmm. the insurance, I had a little bit of cash just in case. I, had, I brought all my credit cards just in case. I was so prepared and when I got to customs, he just said, said, how long welcome. are you staying? <laughs> yeah, where are you staying? Okay. And that was it. And she smiled. No, that's Americans are gonna have an issue with that because <laughs> we are a very smiling country, and in Eastern Europe in general, they generally do not. Don't know, but 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 this is what I this is what I learned. We're very kind people. Right. I was gonna say it doesn't mean people are upset or angry or mean. That's not what it means. It's just a cultural difference. That's it. That's all that it is. So people have to take it that way. It's just a cultural difference. I thank you very That's much it. for your opinion. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and uh, people, welcome to Belarus. It's Men's Guide. Press a like if helped. Ask the questions. We'll see you next time. I'm having Bye, guys. fun.